I honestly didn't think that I would be making another video about Navbarkarte soon, but the creator Jose Luis was very busy and recently released version 1.0. So today we will look at all the new functionality and set up a Navbarkarte together. For that I created this little test mobile dashboard. Let's add Navbarkarte. So one of the new things is that Navbarkarte now is fully editable in the visual editor, which actually looks really nice. So let's go through the different options and then set up Navbarkarte how I am using it on my dashboard. So the first thing here is Navbarkarte template. If you have set up a Navbarkarte template through the YAML configuration, you can reference it in here. This is very useful if you want to use the same Navbarkarte on multiple views. You only have to change a template and it will change the card on all the different views. However, today we won't do this. We will just set it up normally through the editor. So let's set up the card and check out how everything works. The first thing is the routes. We will come back to this later. This is where you basically set everything up. But first, let's set a few options. So I usually put the navbar card on the left for desktop, but I have seen some dashboards that use it in the middle, which also looks very nice. I also set show labels to always, as I really like how it looks with the labels. I do the same thing for mobile options, where I also want to show the labels. The mode we can leave as docked, but you can also use a floating navbar card. And for the layout options, we enable the auto padding option. I must say the visual editor turned out very nicely. The rest of the options we will look at later. So let's configure the routes. The first one, home, I actually just leave as is, because usually this works really well for me. The second one I usually change to a pop-up that shows the rooms. Let's change the icon and the label. For the pop-up, we can add the different rooms. As the URL, I am adding home hashtag living room as I usually use bubble card pop-ups for the rooms. Let's add the bedroom and kitchen as well. Now we have to change the tab action to open pop-up. This is how it looks. The third button in my navbar card is my security page. Here I like to add a badge that shows if any windows are open. We can already set the color to red. Let's switch the count input to a template and return a sensor state via some JavaScript code. Notice you only have to enter the code without any brackets. To make the badge visible, we also have to toggle show. Lastly, I like to add a profile button. For this, we will add the picture of my person in. Let's first set the URL and label. Under image, we can return the entity picture via some JavaScript code. That looks pretty good already. We will make the image round in a second. For the last one, I often just leave the more button. This is very useful to hide any additional buttons you might have. The basic configuration is a good starting point. Okay, let's fix the image. To do that, we go to CSS styles. Here we can give the card some custom styles. For the image, we just have to add a border radius of 16 pixels. I think it looks very good now, and it reminds me of apps like YouTube that feature your profile as a navigation button. The last option in here is the media player option. This is the newest option, but it's quite easy to configure. We just have to add a media player, and that's basically it. I will also toggle show album cover background, as I really like how it looks. This feature is actually based on my custom mobile media player. I will link the video about it in the top corner. It all started when I saw this feature request on the Navbar card GitHub with a screenshot of my old dashboard. I asked the creator Jose Luis if he wanted to collaborate with me on this, and over the next few weeks, we redefined the design and he implemented it into the card. Please note that the media player feature is still somewhat experimental. Let's switch to the mobile view and check out how it looks. Here at the button you can see the media player, which I think looks very nice. You can skip, pause and play the song directly from the player. If you press it, you can get the more info tab of the media player. In my opinion, the background also looks very nice. I also implemented this in my version, which was inspired on how Spotify does it. And that's the new navbar card 1.0. I hope you liked this video and you learned how to set it up for yourself. In the last video, a lot of people asked in the comments if you could download the code for my configuration. So this time you can find the full code for the configuration through the link in the description. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. I have other videos where I create more custom cards, show off cool hugs cards, or two of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching.